I'm Brennan Hill, and today we're going to be going over Lumetri Colors Selective Coloring Effects in Premiere Pro. Now this effect was most notably used in Schindler's List, where the red dress was the only part of the image that was actually in color, whereas the rest of the image was in black and white. So I recently used this effect in my latest short film called Requiem. I used this effect to evoke the feeling that all nature and plant life was dead. So to do this, I selected all the green in the image and desaturated it and darkened it. As you can see in this image, the flower is the only part of the image with color, whereas the rest of it is very dull and dark. To see more examples of this effect, you can click on the trailer for my short film in right here or in the description below. So there are three main ways in which we can approach this effect, so let's get right into it. So the first technique we're going to be going over is the HSL secondary key located in Premiere Pro. So once you're inside Premiere, you're going to drag your clip into the timeline. Here you want to select it and look up Lumetri Color under the effects panel. Once you have it, you can then apply it to your clip. From there, you're going to want to head to Effect Controls and scroll down to where it says HSL Secondary. You can then expand that and use the eyedropper icon to set the color you'd like to alter. You can also use the eyedropper tool that says Add Color to add more colors. The Show Mask button will enable you to look at how much of your color is actually being selected. Using these three sliders, you can adjust however you'd like. In addition, adding a blur will soften your selection so it's not so harsh. Once you have your color selected, you can alter it however you'd like. Saturate it, desaturate it, change it entirely. It's up to you. Now, this technique works. However, it can sometimes be a little noisy or have some grain in the uh, colors that you're changing. However, this next technique will not have that same grit. Lumetri Hue and Saturation Curves is also a Lumetri Color effect, so you're going to want to search up Lumetri Color under your effects search and apply it to your clip. From there, you're going to want to select your clip and scroll down to where it says Curves under the Effect panel. So here you can click on the circle that has the color you want to change. Clicking this color dot will create three other dots on the Hue slash Saturation Curves wheel. To desaturate a color or remove it, you can drag a dot to the inner circle. However, if you want to drag it to the outside, it will increase the saturation of a color. Note that when using this technique, you can only increase and decrease the saturation of certain colors while having the rest remain unaltered. You cannot change the color entirely. Now, onto the third and final technique. Rotoscoping. Yeah, I know. Not the best solution, but a solution nonetheless. This technique is your last resort, as manually tracing out parts of your image to adjust can get very tedious. Unfortunately, I had to use this method on Requiem because some of the shots would not work with the aforementioned Lumetri color techniques. So to rotoscope your shot, you're going to want to bring your clip into After Effects. Go up to Edit and Duplicate to duplicate your base layer. From there, you want to double click on the layer so that it reads Layer on the Composition Viewer. From there, you're going to want to click the Road Rush tool at the top left. So here, when you drag, it will select the part of your image and try to find all of the colors that match automatically. To deselect part of your image, you want to hold Alt and click over the part that you don't want to select. So you're going to want to feather it out a bit so it softens your selection. So once you rinse and repeat all these steps, You'll have one layer that is only the layer that you want to change, and you can adjust the colors on that layer however you'd like. Now, there are many ways in which this effect could be achieved. However, these three techniques were the most I found to be useful and effective. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today. If you did, leave a like. And please, leave a comment telling me what effect or tutorial you'd like to see next here. I'm Brennan Hill, and I'll see you in the next one.